How's it going, guys? Clutch here. Once again, welcome back to Felsbrunn. Um, our new animal area. It's really starting to take shape. Done quite a bit of work here in the last little bit, guys. As you can see, uh, if you remember from our last episode, everything was kind of placed the way we'd wanted it. Down below there, you can see all the buildings. I'll give you a quick tour in a second here. We're just extending our fields uh, up at the top portion up here because the fields uh, changed a little bit when we were adding stuff in, obviously. Um, so that field's good to go over there. I think this one over here needs some work still. I want to get down in front of the silo here. Just a touch more. Why not? Let's see here. Drop a blade right here. I do love this. The <laughs> 6M still. The Weba. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So we'll keep on plowing away through here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that. And then down the side. Awesome. How's that look? Pretty good to me. Perfect. So the rest of this does not need to be plowed. Um, I, so we've got the field all done up on the top. All done down the side here. I think that is good enough. I'll just double check and make sure I've got enough stuff done. Uh, there's nothing else we can really do up here. This grass, I might just have to put to... Uh, plant. Maybe I'll put some trees up in here too. This could use a few trees it looks like in this little corner just to make it look all pretty. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good right now. Awesome. Alright, well let me give you a quick tour of this place guys. Uh, I'm going to go put this tractor away for the time being. If I remember where I put my truck. <laughs> no, I don't. That's okay. We can use the tractor to go for a quick cruise here. So you remember we did have all these buildings placed. Um, but what I have done since is obviously do a little bit of landscaping and a little bit of texturing everywhere. Um, we've added some trees, but as far as, far as buildings go, the only thing we really added is that like that uh, grain silo, the, the seed silo right ahead of us there. So we can get some seed right up here now. Uh, a lot of texturing on the, this area here, as you can see, this is all new. Looks pretty good in here. And then uh, over here we have, what is this, the sheep? The sheep area here is ready to go. Lots of trees, tons of trees around here down in this bottom part. Um, my problem with trees is I always try to place them in lines. Ah, I gotta get away from that. As you can see, everything's, it kind of has to be in some of these areas, obviously. But, yeah, <laughs> a lot of lines. Uh, let's see, so we had the silo, you saw that. Now the nice thing about this silo, actually, I didn't mention this yesterday. This particular silo we have here is it will take everything. It does not care if you dump potatoes or beets as well into it, unlike the in-game silo, so that's a modded silo. It will take beets and potatoes, which is kind of key because that's kind of what we have planned up here. So we had this shed that was built before. The water tanker here is new. I couldn't find a better spot for that. I was thinking of somewhere else, but... Ah, it's okay. It'll it'll do there. I wanted to almost put a pond in, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I couldn't find a spot. I didn't really want to have a pond anywhere close to my pigs, because you know what's going to happen with all the pig stuff. It's going to run into the pond, and that would just be gross. <laughs> so this here is our pig area. Um, it's set up, looking ready to go. We need to get some pigs in there pretty quick here. We're still setting up. We need to get some food still. But, uh, wow, what did this cost us, this whole job up here, guys? It was, I think we were around, what, 800, 700,000? Before we got started, I had to borrow another hundred thousand to get to this point. So we we're in the hole a hundred. We have thirty in the bank. Oh uh, man, this was pricey. This is a pricey little little farm to get started up here. And the thing is, we have not bought any equipment yet either. So, yeah. <laughs> and then up at the top here, we have our chicken area. Um, this might have been part of the big cost. To be perfectly honest with you. Uh, the chicken area, I don't know, maybe it was a bad decision to build it where I did. It's just simply because of the amount of terraforming that had to happen with this ground area. As you can see, we've got a big ridge right here. And yeah, I think that was an expense we really didn't need to have. Anyways, yeah, it was, um, it was, it is what it is, right? But maybe I shouldn't have done it there. So this is the end of our property. This road right now is the end of our property line. I'm actually planning on taking this property over at some point anyways, because I want this field right here. Yeah, this field right here, and because that field right there is mine with the really poor <laughs> seeding job done on it. And I wouldn't mind combining these. Uh, it'd be kind of nice. This would be just one giant field. 
and then it'll combine, then it'll connect right into our uh, secondary farm over here, the animal farm. Anyways, so that's uh, that's kind of the plan. I wouldn't mind seeding this stuff today. Maybe get that seeded. We'll see if we can do that. But I need to worry about money now as well, since while we're at thirty thousand, we owe a bunch of money. I don't have any cash to buy equipment up here really without uh, lending a bunch more money. Like seriously, I need to. If I want to get any equipment here, I'm gonna have to borrow money. Uh, I couldn't do it, I guess, but eh, we'll see. We'll have to decide that a little bit later, I suppose. But first off, let's go see if we can sell some... Uh, we've got some horses we can sell. That'll make us a pretty pretty good profit right off the bat. Uh, I might sell some oats to get a little bit more money out of that. We'll see. I know I've got one... I can do one truckload of oats. Probably get another... Eh, probably 100,000 out of oats. That might be another option as well. Because I do need to get some equipment going really quick. But that's what we've got to think about today. Anyways, I'm going to go bring this back to the farm. Ooh, right in the trees there. But, uh, yeah, we'll get back, get crack a lacking on this and see what we can figure out, guys. All right, you know what time it is? It's pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, so I noticed this before we went up to the other farm area, and uh, <laughs> look how dirty the web is. I was curious to see if it's still going to be the same now. All right, I gotta wash this up to find out if that's going to happen or not. I might as well wash this while we're at it. I like to always put my equipment away clean. <laughs> uh, so we'll clean off the cedar. I think it's good for the time being. We may need that later. We'll see. I don't have a smaller cedar for that small field. Ooh, that could be interesting. All right, so let's give the web a quick clean in the tractor here. Now let's see if this what happens. Uh, what I think is going to happen. So this was blue when I purchased it. And now it's like platinum, <laughs> like a chrome silver. I don't understand what happened to the color. I've used it quite a bit, I guess. Have I worn the color completely off this? Like you can still see there's a bit of a blue tinge to it. I'll get rid of this thing now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I don't understand why it's, uh, it's chromed out now. You can see there's still a little bit of a blue tinge in certain lights, but the color has disappeared from it for some reason. That is awesome. And I should be able to connect to this, I believe. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a professional move right there, guys. You don't see that every day. Oh, come on. I forgot about this. Yeah, you get no front traction when you're doing t tone two of them for some reason. Like, I've got a weight on the front of the 7R. And I'm still not getting any front traction. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's awesome to see that on this tractor thing, because this thing is just massive. I mean, it's not big, but massive, but it's pretty big. All right, well, there's no way. Um, there's no way I'm bringing that in. <laughs> so much for that plan. Oh, uh, that's funny. All right, we'll go put the Weber away, and or the Weba, and uh, let's go figure out what we're going to do with our horses. <laughs> oh, it looks like we've got some cleanup to do over with the cows, as usual. Clean those up a little later. Uh, we've got some feeding to do, too, actually, speaking of which. But uh, let's deal with these horses first. All right, we've got two I think we can sell off from here. It's funny how this was our plan to begin with. Um, was just to... Uh, to deal with horses for the most part, because, you know, the horses were the new thing. Uh, let's see. Gusty and Inca. Gone. Confirm. Uh, they in the back. Good. Horses are good to go. You know what? And these horses really have been what's allowed us to do a lot of this, because you can make so much money off them. You just gotta put the time in. Or get the mod that allows you to train them faster. Or as they, uh, <laughs> without having to run them every day. Uh, the first few days, I remember I was running eight horses for five minutes every day. Yeah, that's a bit much. All right. Oh, I went the wrong way. Forgot where I'm going. Spin a Yui here. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So we'll sell these two horses off. We'll make another $90,000 off that. Which, oh, easy. Uh, which is all good. It's all good. And what else do we got then? We've got, oh, you know what? I think all the horses 
up at the guest ranch. I can probably sell all those off for the most part. Let's, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, yeah, we're going to head up to the guest ranch right after this. That's going to be our plan. That'll be a good way to make a little bit of cash. Let's see here. Come on. Give me those little horses. There we go. And I need two new horses. Sure. And let's go with... Yeah. Done. And confirm. There we go. We're back six figures again. And technically we owe 100. So we got 15,000. That ain't bad. That's not so bad. Uh, that farm down on the other side here is looking pretty good. So I'm happy with that. We got crops growing. We got lots of horses still we can sell off in a sec here. But let's go up head up to the old guest ranch. We'll sell off everything we can get up there. I've got that other big trailer. I don't know if you guys remember that. If you haven't seen it, we'll go get that. We'll take a look at that trailer. Let's get by this guy. And uh, we will sell a bunch of those horses off. I think I can only take six at a time. I can't remember anymore. But uh, they are almost leveled up fully up there, I believe, as well. It's been eight, nine days since we uh, got started that one. Uh, there it is. Perfect. We'll sell off these, or get these horses back in the paddock. Confirm. Back to eight horses down here. Awesome. I love it. All right. Well, let's head up top. Oh, I gotta go hitting the horn. And uh, we'll see what we can do up top with the horses up there. All right. So back up top at the old guest ranch here. Uh, we've got a bunch of horses here that are pretty much ready to go. They're, you know what, one more day, we get a little bit more money out of them. But uh, we might as well do it now because I'm impatient. <laughs> That's the best reason, right? Um, so you might remember this trailer. This is the one we used to transport them up here originally. It just allows us to hold, I think it's eight, eight horses in this trailer. I can't remember anymore if it's eight or not. Let's go if I can see. Oh, not even connected. Not even connected. There we go. Now, I know there's some other new mod trailers out there, actually. I was looking at those just recently. And uh, they looked actually pretty good. But we've already got this one. I'll stick with it. Oh, man, I left this truck up here abandoned almost. <laughs> Let's get this thing out of the way. Oh, it looks like we've got everything ready to harvest up here again, too. Bunch of oat. Get the old Dodge out of the way. Let's go park this down here somewhere. Uh, can I just leave it right in here? Just so I can get around it. Uh, we need to open this gate. Alright. Uh, this is always a pain in here. This, see, this is one, if you guys remember me talking last, uh, the last episode when I was building the, the new animal area, and I was complaining that I didn't give my other farm areas enough space. This is what I'm talking about right in here. Watch out, black horse. Come on. All right, well, I'm just going to load you in uh, like that then, I guess. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, we've opened up the uh, the back. Oh, look, he's getting right in for us. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can get. If we'll get... Is it only six at a time? All right. Only six at a time. We got our six horses in there. They're ready to rock. Close that all up. It's funny how they have that open up. That's not really how that would open, is it? Anyways. Let's see if we can get out of here without driving over my little oat crop I've got waiting to go be harvested up here. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did this turnaround. We did this whole little spin around area. I don't know, a little while ago. Seems to be working out pretty good. Alright, let's go. So this is going to have to go down below once again. Uh, we will sell off this. I might I might do this twice, guys. I think I'm going to do this twice. Uh, we'll buy and sell. And uh, we'll see what we can get. Get a, little, a couple hundred thousand dollars extra. Uh, what is that, six? So that's technically, well, just shy of 300,000. Probably about 380, 370,000, 370, somewhere in there. 
or 270, I should say, sorry. Um, the gas station's still up in effect. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. We'll see what we can get out of that. We haven't been up here for a little while, have we? Man. Anyways, let's go ahead and dump these off, and uh, we'll see what kind of money I can get in a little bit. That should be good. Uh, which way, which way, which way? Okay, this is faster. All right, let's go. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so total profit was about 278, something like that, 278 thou. Not bad. I'll take that. That's all right. Little train transfer station. Looking good. Um, yeah, 278,000 for the horses. That's not too shabby. Let's go pull down here. Then we think we spent 30,000 to buy, what, six new ones? I might leave the horses for a day. I was just thinking that maybe, you know what, if I leave them for one day and then uh, repurchase or sell tomorrow, because those horses will be done, then I'll kind of... Whoa, what did I hit there? Yikes. Um, I will kind of uh, defer the cost or just spread it out a little bit so they're not all being sold in the exact same day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I need the money. That's going to be the key. <laughs> so, oh, stop there. Oh, I need to harvest this. I keep on forgetting. Open this all up. We'll go drop our new horses off in here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a fight to get these in here. Yeah. I might have to square this up a little bit still. Come on. I didn't think my truck was going to be in the way, but it turns out it still is somehow. Oh, come on. I'm not hitting that. <laughs> getting, getting it. Thank you. Oh, no, I hit the other side. Uh, better go back and place American Truck Sim, I think. There we go. There, my plan was there that I was going to go in hard no matter what. And I was going to back it in as fast as I could. If I just kind of bounced off the edge, well, that's okay, too. Am I close enough here? Is that close enough? Uh, yes, I am. Perfect. Oops. Uh, yeah, it's full. Okay, there we go. So we've got our horses back in there. Excellent. We can move this out of the way now. Something like that. <laughs> ah, that truck is totally in my way. Oh, well, there we go. Let's get this back away. You know what, I might as well leave this kind of parked out for the time being because uh, I'm probably going to use it on the next day. To, uh, to get rid of my horse, to sell off a couple more, but we'll park it over here with the rest of our trailers. Rest of our equipment at least, so it's out of the way in case I need to use something over here. Just leave it right over here. Good enough, awesome. All right, well, let's go shut that gate up. And uh, we've got 400,000. I think it's time to go pick up some animals. Uh, I need to figure out what we're gonna buy down below. You stay in there. Nice try. I saw you looking to get out. Yeah, so we'll go see what we can do. We gotta buy some. We gotta buy a bunch of animals, guys. A bunch of animals down below. Uh, go find a way to get back down. I guess I'll take my truck back down here. Anyways, let's hit the road. Let's get back down below. All right, guys. So we picked up a proper livestock trailer. Uh, everything's ready to go here. We've got water. Uh, what's the easiest way to get the? It's right there. I can see the building I need to get to. It's right there. Uh, let's go this way instead. So we've got water. We don't have any food out here yet. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a fight since I sold off a lot of my product. We got hay bales. I don't know. We'll see. We've got to make some choices here on how we're going to feed these guys. Uh, and maybe they'll just survive the night with just water. Hey, then they'll know who's boss. <laughs> is, that, is that mean? Is that cruel? Maybe a little bit. Pass these guys. Come on. What are you guys doing? I'm only doing 80. Come on. <laughs> I thought about building down here over in the campsite area as well, but uh, yeah, whatever. Let's uh, let's go. I like where we are now, to be perfectly honest. Whoa. 
I think it might have been faster to go the other way. This way here, I've got to go ahead and almost go into town to get to the uh, the cell point. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a sharp corner. Whoa. Now it's funny. I mean, I don't know how many hours we've been playing now for uh, on Felsbrunn, but I have spent like zero time in town. There's just no reason to come into town on this map. Everything else happens on the other side of this mountain. Um, there's really no reason. In fact, even the sale points, like I never come to the train station to sell anything. It seems like which is just behind us on our right there. This is this here is the animal livestock and uh, what is it like the, the hay bale sale area. This is the only place I really come to that's close to downtown. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see if I can back this thing up. And really, it's not all that close in the grand scheme of things. It's a funny design map in that sense. The amount of time they probably spent building that section of the map. And uh, yeah, we don't even end up using it. Okay, let's start with the sheep. Uh, and now, we need to choose what color sheep. That way they, they reproduce that much faster. Uh, let's go with the white and black, I think. Ah, you know what? I want brown sheep. Brown sheep. <laughs> uh, how many sheep can I fit in here? Perfect. We got a lot of sheep. Look at all the sheep. <laughs> okay, we're going to go home the other direction this time. Spin the wheel. There we go. So you can see, down in the corner there, there is our new livestock area. Fortunately, there's no road that goes directly to it. We kind of have to wrap our way around. That's okay. Oh, through with the camera shake. Maybe I should buy like this property right here and I can just kind of cut this land right off. <laughs> but like I said, like I spend, yeah, you spend most of your time over in this valley on this map. Uh, this is your main farm, obviously, where you're looking at that. And you just don't really make your way across that mountainside for many too, many reasons. There's not much, yeah, there's not much available down there for, for farmland. Um, I do like the stuff that's down along the river, but I just don't come this way very often. Uh, let's get around this guy. Come on, why is his blinker on? <laughs> Was he turning there? <laughs> that's awesome. We're going by. All right, perfect. So the sheep area is down to the right. You can see here where I've been coming in already. It's funny, though, the gravel, when you paint it, it still gives you, like, a dirt look. Ah. Oh, well. Maybe I should do some other texturing in here. The gravel does look kind of plain at times. Now, I've already brought uh, a water truck over. So there's water ready to rock and roll over there. Or these guys... Let's see if I can spin this around and get our sheep into place. Uh, it should be this first box, I believe. No, that's where the... Yeah, the first box is where the uh, wool comes out from. That's right. Can never remember. <laughs> There's so many little spots on a lot of these pens. It's tough to remember which ones do what half the time. All right, so that should take care of that. All right, sheep. We'll drop all these guys off in their pens. Confirm. Oh, yes. Look at the sheep. All oh, those brown sheep. I don't know why brown, but... <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, that's awesome. All right. And now... I should be able to give them water, right? There we go. Excellent. So we'll let that just drain in there. And uh, we'll get some pigs next. Pigs and chickens. Let's rock and roll. All right, pigs are up next. We got a bunch of pink pigs. And it, just in case, I was thinking, guys, in case you hadn't seen my tutorial videos, you want to make sure that you go with all the, um, the same colored animals whenever you're doing this. Otherwise, they, uh, they just don't breed as fast if you have set different colors. There's a whole... Whole video to kind of dedicated to that, which is kind of interesting, anyways. Um, now, I don't really know on this particular area. Ah, like, I need to be in here. Yeah, this is where I need to have that trailer go into. Oh, that's going to be real easy. 
I might not have thought where to go with that. It's nice work, Clutch. You might need to rethink that next time. Uh, let's see. We're going to practice the old American truck back and in style here, guys. Let's see how we do here. Need to pull a bit of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this. It's going to be a two-part jobby. I need to get away from that tree that I've placed. Uh, see, and this is the problem when I place trees. And once again, I'm at this part where I'm thinking, hey, you know what? I uh, didn't really think about the room I'm going to need for something. Ah, uh, you dummy. Trying to get the bacon into place here. And, oh, yeah, I'm not even getting my front tires on the ground. Come on, turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, we're going to pull this through and we're trying to back it right into an angle here. i got to line it up first, though, otherwise I won't be able to do this. Okay, so note to self, we need to uh, make some adjustments to the loaded area of this. Come on, crank that over. Oh, I thought I had it. Thought I had it. Yeah, there we go. I think we're going to be okay this time. <laughs> there we go. I think, right? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. That's not giving me the option to unload here. Why not? Why? Are you... I've got pigs inside. Oh, that's why. That side is. Never mind. Let's put all our pigs in there. Uh, it's late. Okay, let's go check out our pigs. Can't see. Pigs. Alright, there we go. Look at all the little oinkers. Mmm, bacon. Awesome. Alright, well, we need to get these guys some water. Uh, I'll grab that truck. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing out of here. See, I could have backed it in. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I could have backed it. Boom! Right into the tree. Alright, let's go uh, just park this for this time being. Get the bird. Get the bird. And uh, we'll go see if we can fill up them with some water. But that... Oh, man. I need to do some work to that area. I can stay right there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm assuming uh, they're uh, full enough for the night at least. I assume. But, uh, who knows. So, we'll fill these up. The only thing we got left, guys, are the chickens. Now, the chickens, as you may be aware, there is no way of transporting chickens yet. So, I'm just going to have to buy them and suffer the, uh, the penalty for uh, having to have them transported over to my farm. Which I don't agree with. I can't transport them. How can you charge me for them? But, anyways, we'll take care of that. That's fine. I'll suck it up and deal with it. But uh, tomorrow is going to be all about food for these guys, so yeah, we got a lot of food to try and deal with. <laughs> I love the look of the pink pigs. I don't know what it is. They just look so fat and plump. Uh, I haven't looked inside this particular uh, pen area before. Can I get through here? I must be able to, yeah. I've got some work to do in here still, obviously. This is a food area trough, and I need to clean this up a touch because we need to be able to drive in and drive back out. That is right, I almost forgot about that because I was going to connect that to that road. But that's simple enough. This will be a trough here for one of the food types. I can't remember which one's which anymore. Is that the... Uh, I don't know. I've got to double check all that stuff. Anyways, let's give them some water. Let's see. Now, I want to make sure this works. Ugh. You never know with mods because this is a modded one and it says water and the... What is that? The... Uh, I'm assuming the slurry. It's not giving me the option to drop off the water. There it goes. <laughs> okay, good. I was worried there for a sec, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty concerned. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really enjoying uh, messing around with uh, this new area. <laughs> There's lots of fun stuff I'm doing with this, I'm finding. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we can go with this. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <sighs> not going to get out of my way. Anyways, thanks again for joining us. Oh, we got lights. Perfect. 
uh, and we will see you guys next time. Uh, once again, guys, this is Clutch. Over and out.